Now that we've solved the second layer, we have two thirds of the full Rubik's cube. Now we can concentrate on the last layer. Of course, because we have two solved layers, this will be the most complicated and we can't get around and sometimes mess a bit up, which we just have to recover again. So what we do now as a first step is to create a cross again, in this case a yellow cross because it's a yellow face, but for this first step we don't care about the sides of it, so we just want to create the yellow cross on top. Let's take a look at the edge pieces in the top layer. You will find one of these four possible states. No edge piece sticker on top is yellow. Two neighboring stickers are yellow and form with a yellow middle piece an L. Two opposing stickers are yellow and form a line with a middle piece. Or, if you are very lucky, all stickers are yellow and we already have the yellow cross. No matter which of the first three states we find, the algorithm is always the same. It will simply transform one of these states into the next one. First, let's talk about what the following algorithm does. Looking at the cube from the front side, the edge piece of the left layer won't be affected at all. The edge pieces in the front and back layer will be flipped throughout this algorithm. At last, the three edge pieces in the front, right and back layer will be permutated counterclockwise. If we take a look at the possible states again, you can understand how they transform into each other by choosing the right starting orientation of the cube. In the first case, doesn't matter how the cube is oriented. In the second case, hold the cube in a way that the yellow L is in the front right corner. The yellow line in the third case must be parallel to the front layer. Let's start with this first case. Here's what we have to do. First, we flip the edge piece of the front layer by rotating the front layer 90 degrees clockwise, followed by a 90 degrees clockwise rotation of the right layer. This way we save the edge piece of the right layer into the middle layer but we mess up the front and the right face. Before we rebuild these sides, we rotate the top layer 90 degrees clockwise to bring the edge piece of the back layer into position for a flip at the same time. This way we mess up the blue face in front a bit more, so we have to take care of this. Now, rebuild the right face by rotating it 90 degrees counterclockwise. Rebuild the blue face by first rotating the top layer 90 degrees counterclockwise and finally rebuild the front face completely by a 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation of the front layer. Now we have the yellow L right in its desired position and can repeat the algorithm. Flip the front edge piece by a 90 degrees clockwise rotation of the front layer followed by a 90 degrees clockwise rotation of the right layer. Position the back layer edge piece over the right layer by rotating the top layer 90 degrees clockwise. Rebuild all faces by rotating the right layer 90 degrees counterclockwise, then the top layer 90 degrees counterclockwise, and finally the front layer 90 degrees counterclockwise. Now we achieved the yellow line and have to bring it into the right orientation by rotating the whole cube 90 degrees. And again. Flip the front edge piece by a 90 degrees clockwise rotation of the front layer, followed by a 90 degrees clockwise rotation of the right layer. Position the back layer edge piece over the right layer by rotating the top layer 90 degrees clockwise. Rebuild all faces by rotating the white layer 90 degrees counterclockwise, then the top layer 90 degrees counterclockwise, and finally the front layer 90 degrees counterclockwise. And we are done.